Okay, last example. What did I mention to you guys? The first thing we should do is always try to factor out common factors, right? So we see, we see this, we say, all right, so I'm trying to find the zeros, so I'm going to set this equal to zero. And then I try to see, well, what number or variables can I factor out that they share? And you could say 2x to the fourth. And when you factor out, which is like dividing out a 2x to the fourth, you're going to be left with a x squared minus um, 5x to the fourth, 5x, and then it's going to be plus 4. And then say, yeah, yippee, I have a quadratic, right? I like quadratics. I can factor quadratics. The other stuff's kind of still confusing to me, but I'm going to practice it and I'm going to get good at it because I know it's on a quiz or a test. But I like quadratics. So we can factor that, right? And now here comes the important thing. What do we like make sense of this x to the fourth? So what I want you to do is just think about x to the fourth in a couple ways. x to the fourth is really this. This can be factored down into x minus 4 times x minus 1. But x to the fourth is x times x times x, correct? It's what we call a repeated 0. Because don't you guys agree that the 0 is x equals 0, like the x-intercept is x equals 0? It just happens four times again, right? If you were to use the 0 product property, you'd say x equals 0, x equals 0, x equals 0. You're just doing that four times over again, right? That's what multiplicity is. It's the repetition of the zeros. Right? So um, that's why we know this has a different multiplicity. Now, there's another way we can represent that. If we know that each of these, by using the zero product property, is going to give us 0, then we know that the 0 is c, right? c is equal to 0, and per our definition, raised to the fourth power times x minus 4 times x minus 1. All right? So you could write it like that as well. You actually don't need to write on either one of those. I'm just trying to show you ways for us to identify, or at least for us to understand, that the multiplicity there is 4. So when I go ahead and write my zeros, I'd use the zero product property. I'm going to have a uh, 0 at 0 with a multiplicity equal to 4. And then I have positive 4 with a multiplicity equal to 1. And I have 1 with a multiplicity equal to 1. Yes. Wait, so there's a 2 in front of that. Like, what happens to that? Good question. Let's do the zero product property from here. 2x to the fourth equals 0. What happens to the 2? It divides out. So guess what? Could this be square root of 2? Would it make any difference? No. Could it be 2 divided by pi? Would it make any difference? No. So that's just like what we call a factor of the polynomial. It's not going to affect the zeros. Okay. So yeah, don't let that number affect your zeros. Because if you just apply the math, you'll see that that number, that coefficient there, does not affect the zeros. Okay. Anybody have any questions here? No questions. Okay. So the important thing about